Hello, my name is Dr. Wendy Burton and I thank you for taking the time to review this video prior to your second dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Now, having had your first Pfizer vaccine, I'm sure you feel more comfortable and that you know what to expect, but let's take a few minutes just to refresh your memory about the process and the side effects, which occur more frequently after this second dose. The things that we want you to know. Number one, you must be well. Specifically, if you have a current infection and your temperature is 38.5 degrees or above, we should postpone this vaccination. Please let us know and we will rebook your appointment. Two, the side effects after the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine are pretty much the same as what you'd expect to see after the first dose, but they occur more commonly. Specifically, about 43%, so almost one in two, will experience tiredness or a sore arm. About one in three experience headaches or muscle aches and pains. We see about one in five who get chills or joint aches and pains, and fever occurs in about one in seven. Just over 20% or one in five people felt sick enough that they took a day or would have taken a day off work, study or their regular duties. And one in 70 felt unwell enough that they sought medical advice and assistance. So please do keep that in mind. Paracetamol, Panadol or Ibuprofen, Nurofen would be fine to use to treat these mild symptoms. And they usually come on within a few hours and can last for a few days. The side effect we want you to be most aware of after the second shot of Pfizer is a rare but potentially important increase in the incidence of an inflammatory condition of the heart known as myocarditis or pericarditis. If this occurs, it usually comes on between three and seven days after the vaccine and it's more common after the second dose and more common in young men. The symptoms include chest pain, irregular heartbeat, palpitations, shortness of breath, and lightheadedness. The Israeli data says that 95% of these are mild, and data from the US tells us that it occurs in about four in every million. It is possible that this could be severe enough that you would require hospitalization, where the treatment is anti-inflammatories, such as aspirin, nurofen, and corticosteroids. Please don't forget that we will ask you to wait 15 minutes after your vaccine. In the unlikely event that you get a severe allergic reaction, we would rather you were here with us so we can help deal with this complication. With the growing number of variants and the decline in protection that we are seeing over time, it is likely that you will need a booster shot, if not by the end of this year, then in 2022. And I suspect it may become like the influenza vaccine where we will get a booster every year to account for the changes in the virus. Finally, it is important that you understand that following your second dose of Pfizer vaccine, you are not completely immune to a COVID-19 infection. After immunization for any infection, you do have a head start in fighting that infection. You have preformed antibodies and other immunological factors that will protect you either from getting an infection in the first place. If you do get an infection, it's more likely to be mild. But we have seen cases where people do get the severe end of the infection, even having been immunized. But the data is suggesting a reduction in the incidence of hospitalization, so severe infection, by more than 90% once we've cleared that seven to 10 days after the second dose of your Pfizer vaccine. So that's very good, but it's not 100%. So please, the rules remain. You need to get tested and then stay home if you're sick. Keep your distance, cover your mouth when you cough, wash your hands, wear a mask if you're going to be in crowded places where you can't keep your distance and follow all the public health directions. So thank you for watching and I wish you well with your vaccination today.